Masaccio has a by name of Tommaso di Giovanni di Simone Cassi. He was born in the town of San Giovanni Vondaro, 40 miles southeast of Florence. His brother Giovanni was also an artist called Lo Shagiga, also known as the Splinter. He is known only for several inept paintings. He attended the Florentine school and his master was Mussolini. He was inspired by mathematical proportions of Ruscelli and realistic imagery of Donatello. Masaccio is a talented 15th century Italian Renaissance painter. Masaccio focused on many religious subjects, portraits and murals. Masaccio was also the first to organize his compositions according to the system of linear perspective. The figures he paints are three-dimensional, solid, with gravity weight. Masaccio used classical antiquity, which was considered dramatic and emotional. One of Masaccio's earlier works was a painted fresco, The Consecration of Saint Maria de Carmen. Vasari, re Vasari referred to it as the Sagra. It is located over the interior portal of the cloister abutting the church of Santa Maria de Carmen in Florence. Now, let's examine one of Masaccio's greatest works at the Santa Maria Novella. We are now walking inside the Santa Maria Novella. Located on the left wall of the nave, inside the left aisle, is the Holy Trinity by Masaccio. Oops, sorry, wrong one. This is the right one. The fresco is directly opposite of the entrance. It is the earliest known example of one-point linear perspective. At top is Father, and below is the Holy Trinity in the form of a dove. Christ is on the cross as the human body is pulled and tortured and really affected by gravity. Mary is depicted in a dark cloak, pointing up at Christ, showing us that Christ is the path to salvation. Opposite of Mary is St. John. Now notice that these figures appear very round and three-dimensional in this fresco. The one-point perspective fixes the spectator's viewpoint. It is painted from a low viewpoint, so it looks like you are looking up at Christ. It also allows orthonogals in the ceiling to be seen. This was an example of the humanism in the Renaissance period. In the Holy Trinity, Masaccio used much ancient Greek and Roman architecture. He used barrel vaults with coffers and Corinthian pilasters with thatched columns and ionic capitals. Trinity with the Virgin and St. John the Evangelist contemplate the crucified Christ with the barrel vault representing perspective, which is and also is divided into squares that diminish and are foreshortened so well that the wall seems to be hollowed out. The vanishing point of the foreshortened barrel vault is at the top of the raised step behind the kneeling donors, which is roughly at the spectator's eye level. The Virgin and St. John are also rendered as if seen from below. The Corinthian capitals are visible in the top right and left corners, and the coffers are in behind the figures in the barrel vaults. The ionic capitals are lower, closer to the head level of the top figure. The vertical ridges are the fluting on the pilasters. The columns are attached rather than standing alone, which is for decorative purposes. The Trinity is thought to have been commissioned by a member of the Lenzi family. It has been thought that Brunelleschi may have designed or collaborated with Masaccio on a cartoon for the painted architecture. What Masaccio is doing in this painting is also what Donatello has already done in sculptures. He created figures who are deeply human and real. The tombstone of Domenico Lenzi and his family, dated 1426, was formerly in front of the fresco. At an unknown date after the completion of the fresco, an altar was placed in front of the image of death. The inscription reads, I was once that which you are, and that which I am you will also be. 
In 1570, when redesigning the church's interior, Vasari covered the upper part of the fresco with one of his altarpieces. It was rediscovered during renovations in 1860 and transferred to the entrance wall.